What is good guys, good morning, it's about 7.26 a.m. right now, and today we're going to be doing a full day of eating now. Um, whispering a little bit right now because my roommates are still asleep, so I'll, hopefully uh, I'll take you guys out in just a second so it won't have to be as quiet. Um, but yeah, a couple few few days ago I had uh, people go to my story, uh, my Instagram story, at cb 317 fitness whether or not I should post uh, a full day of eating on YouTube or uh, a, a things you should know about UCSB video. Uh, a majority uh, voted for a full day of eating, so I'm going to take you guys through a full day of eating today, uh, and then we'll probably uh, hit uh, a chest and back workout later tonight with Nathan. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty cool day today. Only got one class. Uh, I had a week full of classes all week, and today is going to be my easy day. Just one class, uh, 8 a.m. to 9.15. And then yeah, I'm going to take you guys through a full day of eating, and I'm going to meet you guys uh, outside in just one second. And I can be everything you want Cause you can be, you can be, you can be, yeah A submarine, 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 yeah We're going deep, going deep Okay guys, it's about... It is about 7.40 right now. We're at the Ortega Dining Commons. Uh, this is going to be our first stop of the day. We're going to come here again later after our 8 a.m. Um, this is usually where I get my breakfast. I'm going to try to give you guys the macronutrient breakdown, but just so you guys know, for all the meals today, this is more of intuitive eating uh, because a lot of their portion sizes, a lot of their portions, uh, they're very inconsistent. So it's hard to, really, really hard to get a consistent serving. So uh, because of that, it's kind of more about uh, guessing and guess and check and just kind of guesstimating the amount of macros that you're getting, the amount of calories. Um, so if you guys don't know, um, right now I'm bulking, try to, trying to add on as much size as I possibly can until I prep for show again. Um, so because of that, I'm eating in a caloric surplus, meaning I'm eating more calories than I am burning. Uh, and for me, because I'm biking around constantly and I have a really high metabolism, um, I have to eat about 4,000 calories a day. Um, and honestly, it's been really tough gaining weight uh, just on 4,000 calories a day, which I know for some people, uh, especially guys that are like over six foot, over 200, 4,000 calories is great for them to bulk. For me, it's almost like I'm plat I'm like almost on maintenance at 4,000 calories. And that's just because I have a high meta metabolism as well as I'm constantly burning calories through either working out um, coupled with uh, biking around campus. So I'm gonna try to give you guys the, uh, the macro breakdown, but again, just so you know, it's gonna be more of an estimate. Um, I try to keep meals about 700 to 800 calories, sometimes upwards of 1,000 calories. And I usually try to get like four to six meals a day. It's very inconsistent, especially with college classes because they're, they're kind of scattered throughout the day. This is just one typical day for me with when I have an 8 a.m. Last thing I want to point out uh, before we go ahead and get our meals in, um, the most important thing for you guys to, to know if you are bulking is to make sure you get sufficient, adequate protein. Uh, I try to get about 0.8 grams to about one gram of protein per pound of body weight for me. Um, I find that that's the most optimal uh, range um, for protein intake when you're trying to add on lean size. Obviously, if you're cutting, you're going to want to eat uh, more protein than that because you want to um, kind of halt that uh, muscle catabolism process. So um, yeah, guys, that's going to be the most important thing. I try to get about 40 to 60% of my uh, total uh, calories to be you know, from carbs. Um, obviously mostly from complex carbohydrates, things like rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and so forth. Get some fruits and veggies. Um, obviously you want to get the micronutrients from that. And yeah, make sure you guys are drinking a lot of water. Then the rest of the calories just going to be from fats. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to take you guys into the dining commons uh, really quickly. Um, because I have an 8 a.m., I'm going to kind of rush it a little bit. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm eating. So I'll meet you guys in there. So the first meal we got um, for today is going to be similar to the last video. It's going to be eggs, potatoes, and kiwi. And then I also got tea. I believe it's green tea specifically. I put a little bit of sweetener in there as well. So let me just show you guys. So I'm going to try to put the macronutrient breakdown for you guys right here. Caloric breakdown as well. But um, yeah, it's just going to be a quick, simple meal. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time recording in here uh, just because uh, it's really early, really tired, and I got to rush this meal so I can head over to my 8 a.m. And yeah, I'm going to meet you guys right after a lecture. Uh, and then from there, I'm gonna come back to Ortega uh, for breakfast for round number two. So um, I'll catch you guys in like over an hour and a half. We'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Just wrapped up lecture. Now we're off to round two at the dining hall. I'll catch you guys there. All right, guys. Apologies if it's a little loud in here. Uh, it's pretty packed right now. Usually it's packed around uh, anytime after nine. But uh, for round two, we have um, oatmeal and yogurt, as well as some orange juice. Now. Uh, here at the Dining Commons, the oatmeal is just kind of bland, so I like to put a little bit of syrup in, so that's what I recommend if you do go to the Dining Commons here. 
Uh, and then this is just strawberry yogurt, so it's already flavored. And then we got orange juice, obviously, orange flavored. So we have a piano over here. It's one of the awesome things about the dining commons is that they have a piano here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but um, I personally enjoy it. Some people find it annoying, but I personally enjoy it. I, I have a huge appreciation for piano. Uh, I grew up playing piano, so uh, it's my favorite instrument. And I like to hear in the mornings, so it uh, helps me get started. So I'm going to finish this meal up really quickly. I'll put the macros up right here, and then I'll catch you guys back at the morning. And we made it back, guys. Um, Justin's awake. Uh, I'm awake, obviously, but Rohit, I think he's still asleep. It's like, what time is it? What time is it, Justin? It's almost 10. Almost 10 o'clock. And my guy Rohit over here, fast asleep right now. What is he? What is he doing? What did he do last night, Rohit, buddy? Buddy, Rohit. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Good morning, sunshine. Just gonna go ahead and open this up right here. He's gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think I forgot about last week's prank. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. We've already got two meals in. That was the Ortega Dining Commons. Had two meals there. And then later we're gonna go to DLG. I'll show you guys what DLG's like. Um, a lot of people ask me, um, how do I track my macros actually? Do I, do I actually just put it in my notes like the images that I showed you guys? Uh, the answer is no, I don't put it in my notes. I actually use, uh, MyFitnessPal right here. So you can see I've already inputted what I have for today uh, so far, but um, I just kind of like give that gave that breakdown uh, in my notes and took a and took a screenshot of that and put it for you uh, so you guys can see it. Uh, in the process of editing right here, here's my glorious face as you can see. All right, and let's go ahead and put some jams. Oh my gosh, that is way too close to my face. Okay. Let's put on some jams, guys. Come on, let's open up some windows. No, oh my god. All my classes got canceled today. I'm editing. Oh yeah. His cl classes got canceled today. Justin, what are you up to right now? Some fizz homework? Uh, yeah. Fizz homework. homework? Is that? Uh, okay, yeah, sweet. And then what are you yeah. playing? What is this game? What is this per peculiar game right here? We're jamming, we're, we're vibing to some music right now, uh, as the young folk would say. <laughs> That's it, you're done. <laughs> I'm done, they're cutting me off, folk. they're cutting me off, they're revoking my privileges to record in this room. That's you what the young, young folks say. No, Chris, please, young I'm folk. going to kick you out of the room <laughs> No, right you now. can't do that, as part of our roommate agreement. I now I can fear. make an enchantment. I, I thought I had that all my the sins room. would return to visit me. The cost is more than I can bear. Alright guys, let me tell you a little story that these two buffoons over here, Justin and Rohit, freaking did. Oh my goodness. So apparently without my knowledge, several months ago, I, I had like a, like a small crush on this one girl, right? And um, what they decided to do, I can't even begin to explain. Do you want to explain this, Rohit? So basically, like <laughs> I can't. I'm so embarrassed. Ago, uh, Chris was trying to, you know, slide in the DMs. <laughs> so we just tried to, you know, boost his, uh, boost his confidence, and asked her if uh, she wanted to collab with him as part of Christopher CB317 Fitness's management team. And she looked like she was pretty interested. She asked us uh, his information, and everything. But that is the last time we have ever spoke to her, and that's the last time she's ever. I, she didn't even contact us, it was just us, but... They, they told me this yesterday, and oh my god, oh my god, I feel, I feel so embarrassed. I feel so embarrassed. You thought this was supposed to increase my confidence, increase my... <laughs> I just, I don't even want to step outside anymore, like, this is how embarrassed I am. So to kind of switch gears, we're going to talk more about actual, like, training and nutrition-based stuff. Some of you guys ask me um, what training split I'm doing right now. So the current one I'm doing is actually Arnold Schwarzenegger's old training split. Um, it's a three day split, um, run twice per week with one day of rest on Sunday. So it's gonna be uh, chest back Monday, shoulders arms Tuesday, and then legs Wednesday, and then repeat that from like uh, Thursday to Saturday. Uh, I'm running that with my, my bro Nathan right now. That's what we're doing. Uh, next quarter, we might switch it up. Uh, either PPL, we might do something like four days on, one day off. Uh, preferably not bro split because typically I do like to train uh, muscle groups at least twice per week. 
Um, that's my firm recomm recommendation, especially if you're natty. If you're natural, I think it's essential, crucial that uh, you do train uh, with higher frequency like that. Come on, we gotta sing. Just right in. I'm not even gonna lie right now. I am so sleepy. And when I miss my nap, when I miss my daily nap, I don't function properly. We're gonna make do with what we got in the situation we're in, right, guys? Yeah, yeah? Okay. What? what are, why are you looking at me like that? What's going on? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Rohit, where are you going? Is that pasta, fries, wrap, and a burger? Yeah. This is Rohit filming. Rohit, show your face. Salad bar too as well. Fun fact. Fun fact. Let me crouch down. There are four dining commons here. You can see one is off campus. So uh, I've already shown you guys two of them. There is Ortega, um, there is DLG, there is Correo, which is on the other side of the campus, and then there is Portola, which is the one that is off campus. On another day, a full day of eating, we'll take you guys to Portola. All right, we'll take you guys to Portola on another day. It's a really awesome dining common. Um, the ones that I've given you guys here, um, they're okay. They're not bad. They're, serve, they're they're good. They serve its purpose. But the one at Portola is really immaculate. It's super awesome. Um, Make sure to wash your hands, especially if you're in college. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Diseases and illnesses spread like rabbits giving birth. Okay, <laughs> wait. He said it spreads like rabbits giving birth. The expression is it spreads like wildfire. Where did you get rabbits giving birth? Alright guys, so we just wrapped up meal number three at DLG. Um, I, uh, on my way out, I picked up a banana. The reason I'm doing that is because later, uh, DLG closes at like 2.30, so I won't be able to eat after that. So, in the, and then they reopen at like 5 for dinner. So, in the time between 2.30 and 5, I'm probably gonna have like a protein shake with a banana, oats, uh, protein powder, uh, and then milk, of course. Okay guys, it's about a quarter to four. And right now we're gonna have meal number four. So uh, this is just gonna be a simple protein shake. Uh, I'm gonna follow the same recipe that I gave you guys uh, in that other video. So all I'm gonna be doing, one scoop of isotope whey protein by Redcon One. Uh, this is about 25, 20 grams of protein, let's see. Uh, 25 grams of protein. Uh, that's certainly a great amount of protein, um, especially for post-workout. Now obviously it's not post-workout, but um, if you are having a post-workout shake, I definitely recommend having 20 to 30 grams uh, in your protein powder. Just my recommendation. Uh, we're also going to put a, a, some oats in here, about a half a cup of that. And then we're also going to obviously have a banana. we got to have a little bit of fruit flavor in there. Uh, helps with the consistency too. I like the consistency better when the banana's in it. Uh, and then lastly, of course, we got to have some milk. So, uh, I'm going to blend that up. And then we're going to go ahead and give this another taste. It's good enough. So, this could be isotope whey protein. I'm going to put that guy in there. All right, and I'm gonna put the rest in. I'm gonna blend this guy up. And there we got ourselves a simple protein shake. By the way, uh, I forgot to mention, but I'm using the vanilla flavor for the isotope whey protein. Um, yeah, easy, quick, 25 grams of protein uh, and with a good carb source as well. So, and I'm gonna put the macros right above this cup right here. And yeah, after that, we are going to see what we're gonna do from there. We'll play it by ear. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some homework right now and I will see you guys later when I'm done.
Alright guys, so Chris has been taking a nap for like the past hour and a half, two hours. Chris? I think. Is he awake? Are you awake? I know actually though. Okay. Some people hear their own inner voices with great clearness. So he's possessed. Alright, what's up guys? It is currently um, 6.36. This meal is not going to be a full-on like meal meal. Uh, it's probably just going to be more like a snack. Not even going to go to the dining comments. I'm just going to get a quick snack from downstairs the vending machine. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to do right now. So, just got back from the vending machine. Um, just got a quick little Cliff Bar, chocolate chip flavor. And then I uh, got some blue almond... Um, Smokehouse almonds. Uh, I'm gonna put the macronutrient breakdown, macros, and caloric breakdown right here. Uh, I normally go to the dining commons around like six ish uh, to get another meal, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm running out of time. It's like 6:40. I'm gonna like eat a little bit of this, um, if not all, uh, really quickly, and then head over to the gym so I can be there about seven, seven, ten. Uh, start training with Nathan. So, all right, guys, and really quickly, uh, I'm just gonna take a quick five grams of creatine. Uh, I have five grams of creatine uh, a day. Um, normally I would have this with pre-workout, but because it's a little bit late right now, uh, and I just took a nap, I'm deciding uh, not to take pre-workout today just because I know that after that nap, plus it being nighttime, uh, it's going to be very difficult for me to sleep. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to get really quick, ready really quickly, and then head over to the gym. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur. When you're working this hard, yeah, you get what you deserve. Yeah, I ain't taking a backseat, I'm passing. Anybody else who is rapping, I'm nasty. Ain't nobody able to catch me, they gasping. They cannot compare, they can't match me, I'm at ass speed. I got your girl and she left. Laughing and dancing, hanging on my butt, she asking to crash with me, smash with me, she's savage, she wants cash money, and she knows that I live lavishly, uh, I wanna live, I'm cold inside, give all I have just to feel alive, I fight to live, I fight to strive, one day I'll have what I want, I want the whole world in the palm of my hand, I got a plan, I'm the man, Teaching the game a veteran better than anybody else who tests me. I'm ready, looking in my hand and it's steady. I'm trending, ascending and blending, lyrical bending. Now I'm spreading and getting my name out now. Yeah, they're hearing me laugh. All the crowds repping the sound. I'm hitting the ground, running up and coming. Ain't nothing, yeah. Rookie of the year, I'ma keep it 100. Cold blooded, no budget from nothing to something. I ain't bluffing. I got a full hand and a full plan. I ain't gonna stop till I'm at the top man every single drop got me feeling awesome i'm about to pop started from the bottom yeah i wanna live i'm cold inside give all i have just to feel alive i fight to live i fight to strive one day i'll have what i want in life
smoke Breathe me in and let me go Sing to your heart to find you Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lies So you can see what you do Christmas every time we start looking as a Alright guys, that wraps up the chest and back workout with Nathan. Um, so, I still have like one more meal left. I got about 800 more-ish uh, calories to uh, eat. Uh, I'm gonna consume the rest of those calories with um, these this pack of almonds that I have here. Uh, and I'm also gonna go to the dining commons really quickly for the late night at DLG, uh, just to get like a quick uh, a thing of protein, uh, just a better protein source than this. Uh, <laughs> let's go! Let's go! And one! <laughs> yeah. Let's go! Bro, he's watching a basketball game. His favorite basketball player, uh, Steph Curry, is playing right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick shower, guys, get a quick protein source, the dining commons, come back, uh, and then eat the almonds. And that's gonna wrap up the, the day, the full day of eating. So, uh, I'll catch you guys at the dining commons in three, two, one. Okay guys, this is going to be the last meal for today. Just a, a quick burger, as well as some fries. I, I normally get uh, ketchup with it, uh, but honestly I don't really need that extra, those extra sugars for right now. Um, so this is going to be my protein sources, which is going to be uh, the beef patty right here, uh, and then a little extra carbs uh, right here with the fries. So um, uh, again, this is just going to be an estimate, but I'll put the macros right here, just what my estimate is. Put it right here for you guys. And also really quickly, I just want to address the fact that this is not the healthiest choice. Uh, I do try to make generally healthy choices, uh, just all around, you know, either wh whether I'm on season, off season, just regardless, just for my personal health. But uh, honestly, I'm, right now I'm just relying on the, the, the food from the dining commons. Uh, hopefully I'm going to land a job next quarter. I'm looking at a, a couple of things at the rec center right now. And when I do, hopefully I'll be able to actually go ahead and buy my own uh, uh, meats uh, and, and carb sources from uh, Ivy Market later down the line, uh, which uh, which will end up being way more better for my health as well as my gains. But in terms of right now, uh, Dining Commons food is what we got, and this is what we got tonight. Oh my goodness, it has been a long day, guys. All we got left for today's uh, food, just a little bit of almonds. Uh, depending on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna track what I eat. Uh, I'm gonna start with half, if, if half of this uh, well over exceeds um, my you know 4,000 calories and maybe I'll only eat half and save the other half for tomorrow, but we'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys uh, taking your time to watch this. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I actually you know I hope you guys kind of got an get an idea of uh, how to properly bulk in college, uh, and you know what you can do if you're purely relying you know on just like dining commons food like me for right now. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video or found it pretty helpful for you, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment if you have any questions or any, you know, future video ideas that you guys want to see from me. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.